Hi guys, Mr. Martinez here, and today this is going to be the more difficult video of the week. Now, the first video that I did was making family trees, and that was the easy one. This one's going to be a little bit more difficult. What we're going to do with this one is we're going to create our own animal characters. Some of you may have heard of um, games like D&D &D or Pathfinder and things like that. You know you have to create your own character. Well today, that's what we're going to do. So what, I, what you need for this project is just a pencil and a pen. Probably an eraser too if you mess up. And then maybe some colors if you want to give it a little bit more pizzazz. So, with these characters, I think what I want to do is have you guys base them off of animals or inanimate objects. I'm going to do an animal first. Whoops, sorry about that, guys. An animal, I'm going to do an animal first. So, you guys have all seen my bun beans, right? Those cute little bunnies up doing all kinds of weird stuff. Those are a good example of what I want you guys to do. Um, and if you guys want to do my bun beans, you can go ahead and do my bun beans. I love it when you guys make some and show me them. They always make me really happy. But today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Today I think I'm going to do a mouse. So I'm going to write down mouse. Now I have my animal. I don't know if you can see that. I have my animal. Now I have to give it a job, a purpose, something that it's doing or it, it is. Um, let's make him a wizard mouse, a magical mouse. So I have what I want. I want a mouse wizard or wizard mouse, whichever one sounds better to you. Um, now I can start drawing right away, but what I want you guys to do before you start drawing is look at both of these words and find characteristics find details in each one of this word in each one of these words that can help you make your character so a mouse it's small usually cute and furry a lot of people might disagree with me on that but that's what I think mouses are wizards I always think of wizards as old magical and I always imagine them with a beard. So I'm going to put beard. Or facial hair. So there are some characteristics, some details about my character that I'm going to use to help me draw. Let's start off with the mouse part. Mm, let me get a darker pencil because I can't really see that. So the mouse, small, cute, and funny. Or furry. <laughs> it looks like they said put funny. Furry. Hmm. Let's start with small. How do I want to show that something is small on a piece of paper? I can draw it small, but that's not really what I want. I want to I want you guys to take up the whole paper, the whole picture plane. Um, you know what? We can add some household objects. So relative to a mouse, I know that a cup. is pretty big. Compared to a mouse, a cup is pretty big. So this is going to tell you how big the mouse is actually. It doesn't have to be a perfect cup yet. That was my cup. This is going to tell me how big the mouse actually is. So next thing is cute. So I'm going to have to draw a cute mouse. Remember when I say draw, I mean sketch. And this is what a cute mouse looks to me. Looks like to me. Kind of big and pudgy. Remember guys, there are no mistakes in art, just opportunities to make something better. So I have his body. I want his nose. His ears. I like him. Give him little hands. This is really rough. 
Now I told you guys to grab a pen because you're going to use it to finish up the details and make it darker and look like an actual finished drawing. Alright, so he's cute and he's furry. I'm going to do that with the details. So I already got all of these in. Now I'm going to work on the wizard part. Wizards, old. How do I want to draw that he's old? I could give him nice big furry eyebrows. That always tells me something is old, big furry eyebrows. The beard. Maybe a walking stick. Maybe I'll draw him with a walking stick. There's one. You can't really see it right now because it's all just messy drawing. I'll give him a hat. Maybe a wizard's. Maybe some wizard's clothes or robes. I don't know. I'll still decide on that. Okay, so there's my mouth. Now, just because I drew all of this doesn't mean I'm going to stick with all of it. This is just sort of to give me an idea. So I got that he's old, magical. We're going to draw him doing a spell and the beard and facial hair. I got that in. So I used all the details I thought of beforehand to help me draw my mouse wizard, which is good because I didn't spend too much time thinking since I already thought it all out before beforehand. Now, grab your eraser if you drew it a little bit too dark. And lighten it up. That, run your eraser over it a couple times. Don't erase it all the way. Make sure you can still see it. So now I'm going to start using a dark pen for color to start giving it detail and bringing it to life. I'm going to start out for eyebrows. Then I'm going to move on to the nose. beard I could have just made a bun beam but I thought it'd be more fun to try something else and I'm really enjoying making this wizard mouse okay so I got the old part I got the beard now let's finish making him Remember when you're using pen or something dark like, dark like this, it's easier to make mistakes, so go slow. Don't rush this, you guys have so much time to do all this. I'm going to make these little triangles on his ears to kind of show that he has fur. And then I'm going to draw the inside of his ear. Give little tufts of hair. Oh man, this guy's gonna look so cute. And then since I'm up here, I might as well draw his wizard hat, right? His magical wizard hat. You know wizards always need to have hats. If it doesn't have a hat, it's not a wizard. It's just a magician. I'm gonna give him stars. cool um what was I doing oh yeah you gotta keep drawing him right let's draw his back I think I will give him that wizard robe so let's make this bump for the hood make it go over like that very simple hood guys just nice bump make it go down and then out like this and just like that, he is now in wizard robes. And since the wizard robes cover most of his body, all I have to draw, do is draw the little feet. Just like that. Remember, give it lines to make it look like he has toes. Now his little hands. Oh, don't mind that. That's just my PlayStation. Give a little wizard stick. I might get some color and put it in the wizard stick. His tail. 
You know what, since we used a robe to cover him, you can't really tell that he's furry. So at the end of his tail, I'm going to give him a big bushy ball of fur. Just like that. Now, we got to show him doing some magic. How am I going to do that? Well, I could draw one of his hands going up like this, hiding behind his beard. Maybe going over his beard. We can give him little black gloves. Let's give him little black gloves. Just so you can start to make out more details about him. Little black gloves. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna draw this. I'm gonna have him making a cloud. Clouds are just a collection of bumps. Bumps are just upside down U's or C, sideways C, all kinds of. And swirls, that's how you make clouds. Swirls, U's, upside down U's, and C's. It's gonna be a magic cloud over the cup. And I'm gonna have it raining hot chocolate. Just trying to fill up the mug so we can drink, enjoy a movie. And this cup is the other detail that I need to show that the mouse is small. So it's an important part of the drawing, so I have to be careful. Take really, really great care to make the cup look good. I recommend that all of you start slow. Don't go too quickly. Start slow. This isn't a race to finish it. Fill it up with something. So there you go. This is what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to create your own character, make it an animal. And then give him a purpose slash job. What does he do? What is he? What is she? Whatever that is you want them to be. And then use details to create it. Write down the details. And then use the details to draw. So first you write details. And then you draw the details. And now once you're done, you can color it, do anything you want with it, but send me a picture. Find a way to get me a picture, even if you have to send it to your homeroom teacher. Um, they'll definitely get it to me. I want to see all these guys. They look so cool. A couple of you sent me videos of the car or pictures of the carps, and I thought they looked awesome. And I want to see this one too. Remember, anyone in your family can do this. Have an <clears throat> have your brothers and sisters see if they can make their own characters and write a little story. Make a little comic strip. And show us all on Facebook and YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys stay safe and have a wonderful week. I will see you next time.